This is the Carina Nebula, as imaged by JWST. And this is the same image, but we've 3D printed it. This textured plate takes astronomy, a primarily visual science, and turns it into something that you can feel. It's 3D, it's tactile, and it lets you touch the universe. Recently, I've been having fun printing off some of the most interesting JWST images as these 3D models. I just showed you the Carina Nebula, that's one of my favourites. But I have a whole bunch here. Jupiter, the Wolf Rayet star that has these amazing rings around it. Stefan's Quintet, the Southern Ring Nebula, and many more. On the front, we have the 3D tactile image. And on the back, we have the original image that we made the models from. What's nice about doing it like this is that it allows us to hold the model like this. We can look at the original image and at the same time run our fingers over the tactile version behind it. As we explore the image with our eyes, we can also explore it with our hands. And sometimes you can actually feel details that you can't see very well with your eyes. The brighter that each part of the image is, the more raised that point is on the tactile version. You can feel bright stars raised up and their diffraction spikes too. You can feel large clouds of gas and wisps coming off of objects. You can feel these bizarre rings around the star in the image. And you can even touch the rings of Jupiter in this one. It's pretty common for people to not realise that Jupiter has rings, but now we can touch them in the images where they might be harder to spot with your eyes. Jupiter's great red spot is particularly raised in this one since it's so bright, and as you run your hand down the planet, you can feel the different bands of colour and brightness that we're so used to seeing with our eyes. These models are actually really accurate to the pictures we input from the telescope too. The only things we've tweaked are the really bright points of light. They produce really spiky points on the model, which would be very sharp and unpleasant to touch. We want the models to be a nice thing to experience and be as scientifically accurate as possible. And I think they do a great job of doing this, despite lowering the spikes that some particularly bright stars might make. You can learn things about the images you're exploring with them, and you can do it without cutting your finger. It's win-win. I have here an example of one that isn't so good. This is a print of the Cartwheel Galaxy, but the really bright parts haven't had their spikes reduced. It does look a lot more dramatic, but if you actually touch it, you'd feel it's pretty unpleasant. The spikes are too high and sharp, and running your fingers over these extreme contours doesn't feel good. For a model to feel nice, the highest points should only be about 3mm above the rest of the plate. This allows you to actually feel the patch with context, so you can compare nearby areas, and you can get a sense of what's brighter than what else, and also an idea of the shapes in the image too, because they're small enough and low enough to feel the whole thing. Also, on this Cartwheel Galaxy one, there's some droopy plastic here that came from printing this image in one go. When the printer was trying to print this overhanging bit, gravity interferes, and before the plastic can cool, it droops. To avoid this, we usually print models in two pieces. The first is the main image like this, and the second is the bit that would have overhung, and we can also write the name of the object on that plate too. We then just glue the two halves together, and that also allows us to slot the original picture into these grooves here and lock it into place. These specific models are really just prototypes, so there are things that we can improve on them all. Be it small print defects like this line I accidentally created when I peeked at the print and let some cold air into it. Or we could even improve the heights and sizes of some of them to feel even better. There are a bunch of little things we can do to keep making these better. These ones of Smax0723 and Stefan's Quintet feel quite nice, but we had to flatten the images an awful lot because these JWST ones contain so many bright points that are mega spiky. But now it might be a little too flat. I'd like to experiment with it to try and make it better. I definitely think there could be a better midpoint between texture and usability. Each of these plates is printed from PLA, which is a very common type of plastic that's easy to print with, and also doesn't make any toxic gas when you heat it up. I'm particularly fond of that because I was in the room with the printer while all of these were made. They're printed from bottom to top, standing up on the bed of the printer like this, which is very satisfying to watch. The video here is sped up a lot though, and each one of these actually takes between 5 and 7 hours to print. 
Other than these being pretty awesome to see, you might wonder why we'd spend so much time printing out these JWST images in 3D. And why I'm talking about them like they're printed regularly. Well, these JWST prints are a bit of a spin-off from an incredible project called the Tactile Universe that some of my colleagues at the University of Portsmouth have developed over the last few years. It's a project that is opening up astronomy to people with visual impairments, and I'm lucky to see this project working up close. They take images of galaxies and run them through their software that turns the images into 3D models. And they've worked with people all over the UK to help them connect with the universe. Usually, the tactile universe print images of galaxies in two wavelengths. One that's redder light and one that's bluer light allowing people to feel the differences between these wavelengths and experience the power of imaging the universe with many different instruments. I've actually had one of these models behind me for months while I'm filming, but I'm always standing in the way, so you've probably never seen it. These models are so interesting to play with, and they're really effective at actually teaching you astronomy. You can feel differences between different wavelengths, you can feel the bright cores of galaxy where there's a higher density of stars. And in the blue wavelength models, you can even feel the star formation happening in the arms of spiral galaxies. You can feel foreground stars and the shape of each galaxy and even bar features in some of them. Tactile Universe doesn't just deal with galaxies either, but they also have some other models too including these awesome gravitational wave models that show the ripples in space-time moving outwards from two black holes as they spiral towards each other. And even some prototype gravity wells to show how space-time bends for objects of different densities, according to Einstein's general relativity theory. What's extra awesome about the project is that pretty much everything they do is open source. If you have access to a 3D printer, then you can make lots of these yourself. The software and custom plugins they use to make all of these models are available for free, and they have instructions on the website on how to do every step needed to print a model. You can then branch out and start printing your own images too. That's what I did here. They showed me how to print the models they usually make, and then I was able to throw in the JWST images, and with, we'll say, minimal troubleshooting, I ended up with the models you've seen here. It's super fun and you learn a lot. You can print your favourite astronomical images, or to be honest, you can input a picture of whatever you like, say your cat, and it would probably work pretty well too. You don't even need a colour image to do this. The codes only look at the brightness of each part of the images. It treats them as black and white anyway. I've just printed off colour versions for my models to look nice. If any of you happen to print anything from Tactile Universe at home, then please tag both me and them on social media. We'd all love to see what you do. I have dedicated videos about all of the regular 2D JWST images that you saw in this video, so I'll leave links to all of them in the description, just in case you want to see more about each one of the images and more details about what they actually show. I'd like to say a huge thank you to the Tactile Universe team for helping me make these models happen and for making everything they do so easy to replicate. I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing to the channel if you're new and you've had fun, and let me know what you'd print in a model like this if you had the chance. Also, check out the Tactile Universe website in the description. They do some truly amazing things. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!